He does send out a positive message to the two chip to kids. Or hate it. I think it's his voice. For a big old dinosaur, he's kind of wimpy. Barney has invaded our lives. Barney and Friends airs on local PBS stations, sometimes twice a day. When Barney debuted a year and a half ago, it was supposed to just run through the summer and then get canceled. Few people with public television ever imagined that Barney would become the highest rated children's show. We had one staff person in the whole building who thought that Barney was going to make it. But jumping jacks! A teacher from a Dallas suburb created the show. She sent several videos to the president of Connecticut Public Television. And he brought it home, played it on his VCR for his child. And the child just absolutely loved it. And so he thought, we've got something here. Get on your mark. So to find out why a floppy purple dinosaur could be so popular, we decided to go to the experts, 11 two and a half year olds. The toddlers are hooked, hypnotized. For a half hour, they barely budge. What is Barney's power? Tell me why you like Barney. So what do you like about Barney? Maybe Barney's biggest fans can't explain the phenomenon, so we decided to turn to older kids, the four and five-year-olds. They're nice. Oh, they do such good things. You know what? What? I like Barney's songs. He likes songs. In this daycare center room, purple Barneys are everywhere. Teacher Tina Gooch dismisses critics who call the show too simple. He gives out a, a positive message to the kids, especially uh, things like manners, and um, he gives out good safety tips and those kinds of things. Like it or not, Barney's popularity keeps growing. 60,000 people came to see him in Minneapolis. The creators say they may stop Barney's public appearances. They're worried about security and safety. Back to the toddlers, and it's all pretty simple. They love Barney. 